So welcome back to my absolute favorite professor from from Finland. <laughs> Thank uh, you, sir. <laughs> we, we've had a couple of good ones, and um, looking forward learning more about how um, the the progress sure. and your GMP um, new people coming in and sure. sales level. And, um, and and some client updates with with your with your firm. So please take it away. Thank you, sir. Uh, first of all, I would like to start in Swedish. Tack för att jag fick komma tillbaks, Homan. Och tack för att ni sitter här ännu, fast klockan är mycket. Tack. Seriously, Homan, thanks a lot. Uh, you have taken nanoform to an orbital that we could not have achieved without your help. And the audience, you have helped there. I really, really like to spend a few moments on bringing you up to speed. What is the company? What have we achieved? I'm not going to go fast. I'm not going to jump around, but I'm trying to focus on the things that I think are important for Nanoform and for what Nanoform is going to be. Let me remind you, I want to ring the bell. That's where I'm going. Right now, we have salespeople in Manhattan, New York City, in DCAT, one of the biggest things in the pharma space. They had first to divide up, we have two great guys there. We thought they would be going there and get one or two meetings. Soon we realized, I got a SMS saying, Edward, what should we do? There are more meetings that we, than we can take. I said, split up. Soon there was another email. Edward, what do we do? There are more meetings that we, than we can do. I said, guys. You are paid to prioritize. Do it. So right now, Nanoform is selling in Manhattan. Two men strong, both European caliber. We have been so fortunate to be able to recruit globally competitive salespeople. They sell Nanoform right now in Manhattan, New York City. United States. That's what we have achieved since last time. Let us go back to the company. The name is Nanoform. I am Edward Hegstrom. I'm a physicist by training and I'm the CEO of the company. The company is not the same as it was last time we met here. You will see. Here's a slide describing briefly what we are and what we are not. We're based in Helsinki. That's the eastern, eastern part of Sweden. <laughs> we are now 25. Actually, we're 29. This week, I signed on to senior people more. We have been able to attract senior people from the European level to come and relocate to Helsinki. That shows something about the pulling power of what we are doing. I am very, very happy about this. It's one of the most important factors for setting us on the trajectory where we want to be. Helped by Vator, we successfully completed a private placement last summer. It was a quick affair. I foresee that there will be more quick affairs. Stay tuned. The company is three years old. It stands on a much, much stronger foundation. It stands on Yoko Ilirusi's knowledge of the company, uh, knowledge of the space for the last 40 years. 
and it stands on our collaboration for approximately the last eight years. Where are we now? Right now, I'm focusing on generating sales. I'm focusing on getting GMP level nanonization. And I'm focusing on getting the first nanonized material into man. These are the three points I, focusing, I focus on right now. Let me say it again. To get sales. To get GMP level nanonization. And to get nanonized material into man. Our ownership in a pie diagram, the founders still own a lot of the company, which I think is important for everyone. I found this pie to be balanced, which I also think is important. Here, one of our achievements. Let me start by saying everyone is really important here. Also the guys who are not here, 29 of them. I would like to single out a few guys from here. Niklas Sandler, Vice Rector of Obo Academy, Professor of Pharmaceutical Technology. He chose not to become rector, but to come as CTO to Nanoform. Why? The upside. Gonzalo Andrade, 20 years in particle engineering, huge pedigree, he knows the space, he comes in from a PhD in microbiology, but the last years he has been working in particle engineering. He worked on the production and on the capital side of Hovion, perhaps one of the leading companies in that space maybe the number one in spray drying, one of the most important technologies to produce small particles. Christian Jones, he told me, Edward, I had to wait for many years until I was allowed by my parents to play rugby. That's rugby with no pads. He is our commercial lead. He is a British gentlemen, with all the consonants and vowels properly pronounced, which I cannot do. Most importantly, he gets people to the meetings and he gets them to start commercial negotiations. I was just blown away. He, these guys have, in three months, created such buzz, so many meetings, so much negotiation that I was wondering, what did we do the last two and a half, the first two and a half years? They showed how this thing should be done. Some people say that one should get first one commercial lead. We were fortunate enough to stumble upon two, and I said, let's have them both. That's the American way. More is always better. And we have been very, very lucky in this move. They support each other and they challenge each other a little bit. Jukka Korander did not get a picture just yet. He is an advanced ERC grant winner from the European Union. He is a specialist in sparse data processing for AI. We were fortunate to get him to. He is going to help us pick what companies and what APIs to nanonize first. I will tell you more when I have solid data on that. Very, very important to us. Very ha happy that we were able to recruit one of these caliber guys. This is a slide. I showed last time I was here. Briefly, approximately 50 new drugs come out. We think we can make that number 100. 
That's what we try to do. Go from 50 to 100. If we do this mathematically, we can make one trillion pharma industry become twice as productive. One to two. Even Donald Trump thinks a trillion is beautiful. Why nanoparticles? Why bioavailability? Bioavailability or solubility if you want. One comes from the biologic side and from one from the chemistry side. Same thing. This is one of the big problems of the pharma industry. Work on big, big problems, they said in Harvard. I agree. How to attack this big problem? One way is to go small. Smaller is better. When you go small, the specific area, which is the area that is in contact with bodily fluids, increases. That's why. There are many intricacies involved. We need to deal with them. We can. Right now there are seven professors in our company. 75% of our employees have advanced degrees. We need to keep it that way. These guys can't be scientists. They need to be scientists and entrepreneurs. That's my job. Have them do that. These technologies that are shown on this slide, they work somehow. Many of them have issues with scale-up. We have shown that we can produce batches that are the same, which is a requirement for GMP. We have shown that we can scale up, which is a requirement for becoming commercial. This is where we work. On this slide, there is a graph. It talks about the surface area. It brings in more science. But what I just said is the essence. There are three words that are bolded here. Solvent and excipient free and scalable. Solvent and excipient free is very, very important. Otherwise, you need to show purification. This is something our customers has time and time again underscored. What else have the customers told us? The customers have told us, yes, we really want to start to talk about how we could use your technology for our problems. They have shown their problems. Most importantly, we have learned that there is no reason to change the strategic framework of Nanoform based on the customer input. This is a technical slide. Our technology basically balances two processes, a nucleation process and condensation and a agglomeration process. We work up in the northeast corner where the fluid has both fluid-like or liquid-like, if you want, and gas-like properties. That is why we want to be there. And what we can do is think about it like a slalom mountain. We learn where to start and we come down a certain thermodynamic pathway. This is the core knowledge we have, the knowledge which we have built up during the last many years. This one I like the most. Now let's see if I'm, maybe somebody from the technical staff can help me. Uh, this is a video, and uh, I think we would like to see if we could run the video. Is that possible? I don't know where the tech is. Yes. This is us. This is microscopic. These guys are small. 
and they are not picograms anymore. We have four lines right now. We are going towards 12 lines. Next slide. Oh, now let me go back one. Sorry for that. I showed this slide last year. I wanted to remind you about the eight orders of magnitude. That's not 8%. It's not 80%. It's not even 8,000%. It's much, much more. Scale up that we have achieved. This is one of the reasons the big boys talk to me. Two years ago, I reached out to one of the top three big pharma. I was able, due to my Harvard pedigree, to be able to get him to actually answer the email. And he said, Edward, I think your technology is interesting. Come back when you have GMP. This spring, we got a meeting. And they put 15 people around the table. And we still don't have GMP. We are moving towards it. That's what can happen. 2018, now I have spelled out and written out testing of biologics. We are working on that one too. I will show one result from it. Oh, that was wrong. This slide is important because it shows stability. If the drug product is not stable, you can't sell it. Stability requirements are usually approximately two years. This is a three-year data point. Remember, our company is three years old. I have not come up with a way to squeeze time yet. Next year, I will hopefully be able to show four-year. Why showing stability? Because when you make very, very small things, stability becomes very, very important. The reason is that the energy landscape is such that you can easily have uh, strong gradients. This can cause changes in, amorph uh, changes in polymorphs. 2016, 2019. Last year, I showed this uh, result. I show it again because it's important. On the left side, Physical chemistry question. If we do nothing, we will be along the x axis. The best the industry can do is approximately the black line, and the blue line is ours. On the right side, oral uh, formulation for mice. Here you can see that we can change the AOC curve. And remember, we have what I call the Nanoman project going on right now. Nanoman strives to show effect in human. I hope that next time we meet, I can show you what it looks like on the graph. If you want to take a moment to reflect on it, you understand that this thing is not a small thing. It gives me the option to choose whether to keep the company a pure technology platform or not. More to follow. Now let's see if we can get the videos on here. Many people ask, when you make small, can you actually use them for anything, or do they just uh, lump together? On the left, piroxicam, which is our model drug. On the right, a drug from a very big company that is our customer. The answer, it can be handled. This slide, 
takes us out from the realm of small molecules. The realm where nanoform acts right now. I never like to look in the rear mirror. I like to look forward. I want to be able to put a tentacle into the biologics. If you were careful in your looking at the slide with the many people, there was the name Mart Sarma. There are people in the audience who knows him well. He gives us deep insight into the biologics area. We strive to be able to produce value there. There are four points that we would like to address. And when I have solid data, I will show it to you. Here is a teaser, though. We have a biologics, a protein here, before nanonization and after. On purpose, there are no length scales on the picture just yet. That doesn't mean that we don't know the length scale. It just means that this is what we want to show right now. Nanoform, as of today, can nanonize both on the small molecule side and on the biologic side. This means that we are solidly anchored in yesterday and today, and we also have an option for tomorrow. To me, it is very important to have a simple compass for what I am, what we are, and what we are not. We don't want to compete with pharma. We will use a traditional revenue model because our technology is cutting edge. I don't want to have two cutting edge things to sell. I want one. This model has been verified because our customers has paid accordingly and signed documents, contracts accordingly. We have two patent families, and I'm very, very happy to announce that there is unfortunately a typo here. It says Finland, but it should say United States. Let me say it again. We have been granted a patent for our method in the United States. That means that the big clock starts to tick. What does GMP stand for? Great mountain of paper. There are many papers being generated right now. Good manufacturing practice. It is the gatekeeper for being allowed to administer into people. Don't have it? Can't do it. There is a lack of GMP capacity in Europe and in US. A customer told us, if you have this thing on the east coast of the United States, you can sell three years' worth of nanonization almost immediately. I said, oh crap, we are building it in Finland first. He said, don't worry about it, you will be able to sell it anyway. This is our plan for how we are going to expand our capacity to do this. Here is the A-wing. Let me point out two things. The areas that are marked in green, gray, yellow and blue are being prepared and ready. The area marked in violet will start being prepared after the summer holidays. This is where we are going to put our GMP line. Most importantly, now I should have a long stick or something. In the green box up there in the center, that's where I sit. You know why? I like to sit close. 
to where things need to be done. That's where I sit. This needs to be done this year. I'm going to make it happen. Let me talk a little bit about Christian and Gonzalo. You know, they actually look like this. It's not photoshopped. Remember what I said. Their dance cards filled up in Manhattan. This is one of the most important things we have done since last summer. We got them to say yes. They are selling right now as we speak. Nanoform has a platform technology. Our customers has reinforced what we said a year and two back, and they have given us more openings. There are many things that this can allow our customers to do. Our strategy is clear. We will not tell the customers what they should do. But when they have a problem, or when they ask, could it be used for this? We will do it. This here is Cultivator 2. It's approximately 400 kilometers from here. That's 50 minutes with a not very fast airplane. It's 15 minutes from the airport in Helsinki, 1-5. What have I told you today? I'm really, really happy about Nanoform. I'm really happy about the fact that you came here and listened to me. I'm really happy that Human provided us with the opportunity to take Nanoform here. And most importantly, our strategic framework holds and we are on the trajectory, what we said last summer. Right now, we are selling, we are building a medical factory, and we are preparing to go into man with nano nice material. Thank you.